Kaya nag-aapila kami sa sambayan ng Pilipino po. Not just the people of Negros Oriental, to the media who has a very important role, to the Senate, to everyone concerned with, with what will happen to our province. Sana po tulungan nyo kami that those names on the board, yun pong pinakita kanina, bantayan natin sila. Nakakatakot po talaga sila. Siguro si Mayor Janice, tanawin ko na lang muna, Mr. Chair, with your indulgence, were there threats already to the life of Governor Degamo before this fatal uh, assassination event, attempt, uh, assassination that took place? Meron na bang mga threats sa buhay niya? Yes po, meron po. Ano pong mga threats to? Uh, sa text, sa pub publicly, ano pong klaseng threats? I think he was able to get the uh, report from the intelligence community po. In fact, I was able to get a video of us on our way to the uh, mag-oath sana si governor to return to his seat as governor of Negros Oriental. When uh, he mentioned their names, uh, he mentioned their Mayor Henry and uh, uh, Congressman Arnie to be the source of threats of his life. Nasa video po yan, baka pwede natin ipakita din later. Can you provide this committee, yung video yes. niyan, para ma-play natin? Yes, later po, ako ipaano po. Mayor Digamo, uh, you have the floor, please. Chairman Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa and the members of the Committee on Peace and Order and Dangerous Drugs, resource person of today's meeting, ladies and gentlemen in the gallery, Good morning to all of us. I speak on behalf of the people of Negros Oriental. I am here on behalf of the families of all those who have lost a son, a daughter, a father, a mother, a husband, a wife, a sister, a brother, a friend. On that fateful day of March 4, 2023, when assassins mercilessly killed nine people, including my husband, Governor Ruel de Gamo, and wounding 18 others, and endangering the lives of the many others who were with Governor Ruel at that time he was murdered. I stand before the honorable members of the Senate Committee, not only as a wife seeking justice for her murdered husband, but as a Negorense who wants justice to be given to all those who have been victims of violence and of oppression by the very same persons who masterminded my husband's death. I bring with me the fervent hope and the aspiration of every peace-loving citizen of Negros Oriental for a province that is free from the capricious and whimsical killing spree that has been perpetrated at the instance of the same masterminds who ordered the commission of the infamous March 4, 2023 Negros Massacre. Today in this hallowed hall of the Senate are the family members of all those who suffered oppression and violence in Negros Oriental. With them are some of those who survived assassination attempts in their lives and the few who were able to overcome their assailants. Together, we will speak the truth about how the people of Negros Oriental suffered in silence in the face of tyranny, of oppression, of violence, of impunity, and of the excessive abuse of power and of influence by the very same people who masterminded the Negros massacre. The Department of Justice already made a pronouncement on the identities of those who orchestrated and sanctioned the murder of Governor Roel de Gamo. We trust the process and we always stand by the rule of law. We believe that no one, no one po talaga is above the law, no matter how rich, how powerful they perceive themselves to be. Today, we also intend to give a voice to those who have been cowed into silence and to all those who have been intimidated into inaction and state of apathy because of an impending threat, threat of death or injury to themselves and their family members. The culture of violence and the culture of silence have to end. 
It is about time that for the people of Negros Oriental to stand up and fight for justice that has been denied to them. This is the time to put an end to an era of tyranny and oppression. We also bring with us the cause of those who have been deprived of their lands and their homes. The greed of these evil people simply knows no bounds. It is high time that the government must intervene to protect the rights of the people of Negros Oriental. For more than a decade, our people have suffered, truly suffered. At this point, allow me po, seven slides lang po itong ipapakita namin. Allow me to show you how the breakdown of the criminal justice system of our province have caused so much life, loss of life and damage to all of us living there in the province. The first slide that you can see are all the members, uh, are all the victims who died with the governor on that fateful day of March 4. With him is Florenda Quinquito, Barangay Captain of Santa Catalina Negros Oriental. Jose Marie Ramirez, Barangay Cagawad of Pam Yupisan Pamplona Negros Oriental. Crispin Valiega, security guard of our compound. Um, Pabuga, Mr. Pabuga is his photographer and cameraman. Mr. Jerome Makiling, driver of the engineering office, driving for engineer Mylin, who was with the governor at that time. Uh, Mr. Butay, a resident of Pamplona, uh, of Santa Catalina, Mansagumayon, who came to the governor for help. Mr. Jerome Canseco, driver of the IPHO. And uh, the last one is Mr. Retada, uh, Barangay Tanod of Barangay Ubugon, Tanhay City, seeking for the governor's help. Pero hindi po dyan nagtatapos ang mga namatay. Those that you can see in the PowerPoint are few of the many deaths po na nangyari sa Negros Oriental. Ang mga pangyayari pong ito dates back to so long a time that uh, you will really see if you can go and check the full uh, coverage of the PowerPoint that we sent to you, the connection. Makikita niyo po, the murderer of one victim is the same murderer of two or three more victims Makikita mo yung connection that it has been there for so long a time. Bakit naman yung namatay ng 2011 o 2012 ay magkakaroon ng the same perpetrator, the same gunman sa namatay ng 2018, 2019, and 2020. The presence of private armed groups by the Teveses is real and true. Makikita din po Mayor, natin... Mayor, excuse me. Yung sinabi mo, pabalik-balik, ganman ng isang killing. Yes po. Killing. I mean, ibig mong sabihin, hindi ito nahuli? Hindi na kulong? May iba na nahuli, meron pong ibang hindi. Makikita po niyo yan sa, sa PowerPoint na sinend namin yung full po na, na sinend namin sa office. Tapos yung nahuli, nakalabas uli, tapos namamaril naman uli. Mag meron Dumay mga ganman, for example po, na bumaril kay Miguel Dungog, na siya ring bumaril kay... Uh, uh, Samuel, Tor, uh, Samuel Ragay. And this happened in sa malay malayong panahon po. If you notice po in the slides, Ramon Tulfo has with him his own list. I cannot tell to whom it came from, but we also have our list that we can really talk about. Ang hinihintay lang po talaga ng marami na lumabas, uh, uh, mahuli ang mga salarin because the moment that they are in jail, these people will come out in the open and speak out freely. Ang dami pong namatay. Kung titignan po natin, Judge, Judge Velasco was one of them. Another lawyer, Attorney Elesteria, meron pang isa, Attorney, pakibaba, uh, Attorney Kasipong of the D of the, uh, of the Office of the Department of Agrarian Reform. Meron pong mga politiko na kalaban nila. Miguel Dungog, Tonton Melodia, uh, Bongbong de Vinagracia, etc. Meron pong mga simpleng mamamayan lang po na mga farmers na, na inaagawan po ng lupa. At maraming marami pa. 
They are only awaiting that the man behind the breakdown of the criminal justice system in Negros Oriental will be put to jail po. You know, there is a need po to address it. The victims of harassment, land grabbing killings are here, literally here at the Senate halls, needing po your help. There is a breakdown in the law enforcement. Napag-usapan na po iyan natin kahapon. Yung iba kailangan pa, gobernador ang tumawag para i-blatter. May problema po tayo sa mga kapulisan ng Negros Oriental. And I am hoping that the presence of our PD, PD Recinto, will correct the problem po. May problema po tayo na pag ang Teves ang kalaban natin, walang lawyer na tatanggap sa iyo. May problema po tayo sa fiskalya at sa prosecution. Minsan, ang fiskal pa mismo ang magdadala ng papel at i-encourage ka na umatras na lang. We have problems with the judges. There are offices that we have a problem. Comelec, nangyari po iyan sa asawa ko. Saan ka ba kukuha? Ruel Digamo, R-U-E-L, and not even his real name and in his birth certificate. At ang may pakananon, mga teves pa rin po. I have a proof to back my accusation. May mga problema tayo sa DAR in Negros Oriental. I-install ba naman ang mga beneficiary na sila ang magninim kung sino ito? But the DAR people will only tell them, gusto niyo bang patayin kami ni Arnie? We also have a problem with DENR. Pag nagtanong ka sa papeles mo, kumusta na yung final mo, na-resolve ba nila, sasabihin lang, sana maintindihan ninyo. We want to live po. Wala na po kaming, wala na pong fairness, wala na pong demokrasya. Kaya umabot kami to the Senate halls, not wanting to become senator in the future. Not once did that cross our minds. Nandito po kami because we really have a real problem that requires a real solution. Please help us po. Let's end impunity. The killings in Negros Oriental has to stop. Kung naalala niyo po, na, na, nauna na kaming nag-approach nung nabubuhay pa po si Governor. Nag-request kami ng Senate investigation na resolusyonan po natin yun, Senator Bato. Pero naiintindihan din namin na hindi lang naman po kami ang iniintindi ng bu ang buong Pilipinas na nangangailangan po ng Senado. But this time around that you give us a chance, talagang we will grab this opportunity po na marinig and truly marinig po kami. We have here names. Una po, nananawagan ako sa sambayan ng Pilipino. Tulungan niyo po kami. We need your help. Let's be vigilant. We are faced with a giant opponent, manid, fueled by isabog, fueled by STL, fueled by maybe even illegal drugs. Tulungan niyo po kami. Tutukan natin ang kasong ito. This is not only about governor and the victims. This is about Negros Oriental. This is about our home. The only place we can go home to po. Hindi namin kayang tumira ng Canada, America, Australia. We only have one beloved Negros Oriental po. Nag-aapila kami. Media, you have a very strong role in preserving democracy in our country. Tulungan nyo kaming tutukan natin ito at wag tayong Let's not allow that fall guys will be put, you know, fall guys will be put to prison for the wrongdoing of someone na talaga namang gumawa ng problema dahil po mayayaman sila. Sana po hindi mangyari sa Negros Oriental at hindi mangyari sa inyo ang mga nangyari po sa amin. We have to address the breakdown of the criminal justice system po in our province. Nananawagan po ako, Kong Governor, former Governor Henry and Arnie should be answerable to the things that they did to our province, to our people. Kung makuhanan ka ng IED in the very property that you own, there is something very dangerous po. Someone, last night, someone called me and wanted to meet me and explain to me, Mayor, alam niyo ba kung hindi namatay ang asawa mo? Your province could be this, the next Marawi. Sabi ko, bakit po? Sabi niya, ang alam niyo lang, ang alam niyo lang sa bombs na pagpumutok ito ang daming namamatay. 
But you have to trace it po. Only terrorist groups are in possession of bombs. Anong ibig sabihin yan? When a terrorist group is in possession of bombs at dumating ito sa pamamahay, sa residente, sa lupain ng mga, ng kung sino mang tao, dapat may managot dyan. Meaning to say, these people are in communication with terrorists. Alam niyo po, sabi nila, siguro mahal pa talaga ng Diyos ang probinsya niyo. Ang asawa mo pa talaga ang ginawang daan para mabuksan ang usaping ito. Kaya sana po, huwag nating tantangan atin pong nanghihingi kami sa inyo ng tulong. Hindi namin kayang magpa-gcash sa mga reporters o sa media. Hindi po. Ang hinihiling lang po namin, may role kayo sa problema namin. Kasi pag nawala bigla sa limelight, nawala bigla sa usapin, and money will start crawling to the different offices, our problem will deepen some more. Kaya nag-aapila kami sa sambayan ng Pilipino po, not just the people of Negros Oriental, to the media who has a very important role, to the Senate, to everyone concerned with, with what will happen to our province. Sana po tulungan nyo kami that those names on the board, yun pong pinakita kanina, bantayan natin sila. Nakakatakot po talaga sila. Governor Ruel de Gamo gave his all to his people so that they may have hope in the midst of tyranny and wanton violence. In the end, Governor Ruel became a victim to the violence that he has fought all his life as a public servant. In his final moment, a constituent tried to save the governor's life by shielding him with her frail body. Punong Barangay Florenda Quinquito died a hero, trying to protect the good governor with her own body from the assassin's bullets. This final embrace symbolizes the collective hope and the persistent dream of the people of Negros Oriental, a dream that they share with Governor Ruel, and that is a Negros Oriental that they can call their home, where peace reigns, where the rule of law prevails, where there is no fear, no oppression, no violence, no injustice, and no criminal activities proliferate with impunity. Honorable members of the Senate Committee, help us realize the dream of Governor Ruel de Gamo for the people of Negros Oriental. Let us honor the memory of Governor Ruel by giving our people a legacy of peace and justice. Let not the death of those who perished in the Negros massacre be in vain. It is our fervent hope and prayer that the full force of the law bear down on those who are responsible for the Negros massacre. We pray that the masterminds behind these heinous crimes be brought to the bars of justice. Let us send a message to the Filipino people that no crime goes unpunished and that no one is above the law. Ako po si Janice Digamo, may bahay ng yumaong si Governor Ruel Digamo. Tumata yung tinig ng nagkakaisang sambayanan ng Negros Oriental, kaisa po ninyo sa layuning itaguyod ang kapayapaan at katarungan lubos na nagpapasalamat sa inyo. Pagpalain po kayo ng puong may kapal. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Thank you po. Thank you, uh, Mayor uh, Janice Digamo. Uh,